A new poll out today shows good news for two top Texas Republicans, Governor Greg Abbott and Senator Ted Cruz. Political reporter Jack Fink is live for us in McKinney, where Democrat Beto O'Rourke is set to hold a rally in less than an hour from right now. Jack? Well, Ken, we're here at the Sheridan Hotel off Central Expressway, and they are expecting more than 1,000 people to attend Beto O'Rourke's campaign rally here now 11 days before early voting begins. Kinnipiac University's new poll out today shows Ted Cruz with a nine-point lead over O'Rourke, 54 to 45 percent. Cruz had a nine-point lead in a poll by the same organization last month. The Republicans' favorability rating was 52 to 44 percent, which is better than O'Rourke's. The Democrat congressman from El Paso has a 45 percent favorable rating and a 47 percent unfavorable. 730 likely Texas voters responded to the survey. For his part, O'Rourke continues a very aggressive campaign with multiple stops in each area of the state. O'Rourke campaign in Dallas last night held a run this morning in Big D and will be live here in McKinney this evening. Tomorrow he'll be in Mineral Wells and then Fort Worth. As for Ted Cruz, he was in Plano last Thursday and is in Houston and El Paso for the remainder of the week. One political analyst, SMU political science professor Cal Gilson, sizes up the race this way. I think that, that O'Rourke uh, has a real following in Texas. The momentum has been lost. I think he can rejuvenate that momentum, but it won't be easy. Now, in the governor's race, Kinnipiac shows Governor Greg Abbott with a 20-point lead over Democrat and former Dallas County Sheriff Lupe Valdez, 58 to 38 percent. Part of the problem for Valdez is that not many people across Texas know who she is, and she is dragging drastically behind in fundraising, so she cannot advertise on TV. We're going to be speaking with Congressman O'Rourke in the next hour and tell you how he reacts to this new poll and what his message to all these supporters is going to be in the final weeks before Election Day. For now, we're live in McKinney. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack, thank you.